I've noticed the guy who won Carthage Siege got the Africanus title. Really? That's cool. First Twitch stops working, then I get another commercial. Oh! And what's even worse, Kiss for Luck, is I'm not a partner, so I don't get any of the money for that. It's all Twitch. That face when your kids distract you from Imperator. If you get to pause and you return to find Carthage is declared war on you. Oh! Come on, people. I'm still losing a huge number of soldiers. How are they so good? They're... Oh. I thought my heavy infantry was strong. I mean, my heavies have 35. Some of them have 45 if they're loyal. 48.5 discipline. 58.1 discipline. How have you achieved that? Oh, and they've come in with bottleneck, which counts as shock. Um... So what counters bottleneck? Skirmishing. Alright, let's go with the skirmish. They are doing a ton of damage to us here, and they've beaten me again. I lost 10,000, they lost 8,000. Um, you need to stand back here. You can stop force marching. Back off! <laughs> horse archers counter heavy infantry. They don't have horse archers though, they have light cavalry. And light cavalry doesn't really do very much against heavy infantry. In fact, it, they're, they're just outright bad against heavy infantry. And archers are a 0-0. Zero, zero. No pro, no con. Right, new invention. I want more discipline. Promotion through valor. Promoting troops based on their actions provides every man a reason to perform to the best of his ability. Alright, now I should have roughly the same discipline that they do. Mordred just got a Twitch message from you. Popped a few minutes ago while I was answering once on Spotify. Been in and out with my with them for days. Your message has not been there. Showed up 12 days after I sent it. <laughs> Didn't mean to be rude. On Twitch or on Twitter? I thought I sent that one on Twitter. But no worries. It's fine. Uh, friends in high places. Hragmund Tiati, for reasons known only to himself, has been voicing his opinion in support of Hildo Lake Geraldus wherever the court assumes, assembles. Such psychophantic actions may be tiresome, but a voice is far is better than a voice against. Um, so he increases loyalty and we become buddies. Become friends with the person who treats me when I'm ill. Yes, I accept. Viadrus, blockaded port. Oh, we've finally got some pirates. Hello, pirates. And that's a lot of mercenaries we have up here. Segramundi, Malariki, Idegus. I'm not surprised that Idegus is. Oh, what's my ruler now? 48. kind of wish you would um, shuffle off a certain mortal coil. Barbarians? Here's me cavalry. Here's me cavalry. Head over to Tull. Now, I need to kind of reassemble my armies after these losses. I mean, all they're doing is retaking the territory that my forts took off of them, although they are actually sieging down a fort here, which isn't great. We have 12,000 men. Let's have you guys force march over there. Because we're going to have the defensive bonuses. Hit that. They may try to reinforce, I don't know. These are all roads, so we should be able to make that pretty quickly. You can also get over here quickly. Uh, road it. That's Geraldus. Still can't get rid of you. This is like the last vestige of my being a tribe. Having been a tribe. You're down to just 3,000 men. How much am I short? 25,000. But now that we're generating 1,000 hit points... 1,000 uh, hit points. 1,000 manpower a month... 
We should be able to just out attrition them, but good grief. We have we've hardly touched their manpower. To replenish their armies they need fifty-five men. Seriously? Have I done that little? I don't believe that for a second, actually. I've done more damage than that. Okay, it was a Twitter message. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was getting a little concerned, just like, I don't remember sending a Twitch message. That might be longer than 12 days. I'm playing as Parthia formed Phrygia. Wholeheartedly recommend a Phrygia. Oh, that's a different country. Play through lots of opportunities for early conquest, ambitious goal, tech change to work towards, and tactically interesting terrain to play in rarely visited parts of the world. Yes, the horse step people would be really good. The three important T's, Twitch, Twitter, and pterodactyls. Very good, Tokriva, very good. If there's one thing I've learned from playing so far, it's that training camps are your friends. I've been building a lot of training camps. We, we, we have tons. How you know it's a Mordred campaign, 1,000 manpower. Yeah. Although I have loads of money now, so I could actually hire more mercenaries than I've been rolling with. This is the other way you know it's a Mordred campaign. I'm rich! Um. Oh, the, these are all the Thracian mercenaries heading home. Which ironically is back to my territory. They were hiring all of the mercenaries which are based in my territory. Uh, I think I probably want to hire you. How much? 18? Gold. I just need bodies to throw at them. Especially down here. Oh, you attacked. You attack? You did attack. Ah, oh, I've beaten you. Skirmish beats cavalry skirmish. Yeah, they have quite a few cavalry. Fair enough. So that should be a victory for us. That's an easy victory for us. Alright, that makes a difference and change or whatever the word is. I feel like manpower in general is too slow to build up. 100% agree with you. We killed 4,000. We lost 800. That's more like it. Yeah, they're sending reinforcements down here, unfortunately. Don't fall. <laughs> Alright, we won the Battle of Toll. I don't want to pay you off. I want to murderize you. Where are you running to? Durencia. Chase them! I still don't want to send you into the fight because I've got like no bonus. Actually, that's not true. Because of the traditions I've taken, my archers and light infantry and forests are better, and my chariots and light infantry and planes are better. And you have archers, you have chariots, archers and forest, archers and forest. Problem is, I don't really have any other modifiers for you. I think. How can I check that? Yeah, stats. Slingers. Plus 15 offense, plus 5 discipline. Okay, they're actually slightly better than I realized. I mean, it's my heavy infantry that are truly the, the strong ones. But they are better than I expected. Hmm. The thing is, I just kind of want to save... That manpower for my other units. No, we're going to save the manpower. I'm not going to send you in. How are we looking? Nil nil. They're going to come in with some reinforcements, which may well come with a tactic which will negate us. I mean, the main thing is to buy time for you to arrive. Another full 14,000 will help. And this is where the discipline for my infantry units will play. As long as they can hold their line. They're not holding very well, though. <laughs> like, it's at all. We're doing a lot of damage to them. Alright, they're on bottleneck. What counts as bottleneck? Uh, skirmishing. We are victorious. Barbarians are dead. No, 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 they're not. Now they will be. And we could actually hire some more mercenaries, potentially. Though the mercenaries are still a long way away. We could hire these guys in and then out again. 
think I will. Fire those. My territory, then over there. So they start black flagged because they begin in enemy territory. We move them one province and then we move them to attack their capital. And these are some actually fairly good mercenaries. Nine heavy infantry. Not too shabby. Oh no, I don't want the shock. I want you... Get my... Do something a little bit different. Have to cook dinner or we'll be listening. No worries, kids, for luck. Glad you stopped by. It's nice to see you. And that is also the last of my tea. Sad face. In my country, I have like a million mercenaries standing around the country who I or anyone else have hired, and I'm like, what do these guys eat? Yeah, there's definitely an issue with mercenary spawns. Uh, Paradox has already said that they are going to patch that to tone it down a, a tad. Far too many mercenaries do spawn in this. The way manpower works definitely makes you want to get mercs when you have the money. Yeah, and we have the money, so we probably should. You're still black flagged. Why? Actually, I don't know if that would count against you. We could hire some of the big boy mercenaries. Rather more expensive, but we can maintain you for a while. Well, let's wait to see how those mercs change things up. We lost 8,000. They lost 8,000. They still have 20-odd thousand troops here. And we're coming in with another 14. If I can get there before the fort falls, I might win that fight. Ah, they've got a morale tick. And you're down to zero troops. Oops. Uh, do I have any other troops in this area that I can send in? No. Alright, we're losing nine. I think doing another, another 11 is agreeable. Let's stop you moving. Ah, force marching won't help. Back on's down there. Where are you running to? Way to the north. I could grab my light infantry units, but I just don't think they'll be as effective. You're the one that's marching in. Those are all mercs. Oh wait. Here's the cavalry who's up here. Why do I feel like I've lost one or two? Osnick's the one on zero. Ooh. Osnick's gonna have to run away. Luonian civil war has ended. Congratulations. We are victorious. Dead? Still not dead. Crikey, those guys are stubborn. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Skirmishing does not beat enveloping. These guys are probably going to be enough to turn the tide. My heavy infantry are doing a great job. We're, we're smashing them. Morale might be on my side. Yeah, if that 8,000 arrives, then we're done. You're going to need to back off as well. Let's make sure you go along the road to get away. Send you up to Tollum as well. Alright, so it looks like we're going to lose a fort here. It's time that we back off with you. We've done our damage. Alright, time to reposition. We're down to 42,000. These guys are putting up a much better fight than I expected them to. I mean, I know they're technologically advanced militarily, but still, ouch! They're packing a punch. I'm still barely scratching their manpower. How are they doing this? It really... The, the bulk of their forces have got to be mercenaries. But in that case, those mercenaries are really strong. We're at war with again. Uh, Opitania. These light brown people here.
Rome has a law, Marian reforms, which gives 20% manpower recovery. Yeah, they do. I wonder if I have anything equivalent. It's one of these. Yeah, it's instead of the mercenary contract decree. Martial education would give us more manpower. We actually have a manpower reduction thanks to the nobility admission. That does make the citizens happier, but my citizens are already pretty happy because I just give them gold. Literally, I, I have gold. I can give them gold, not money. But that costs oratory power. The other thing I can do is get rid of some more slaves. We have oratory saved up. I think I'd like to do that. Let's go to the provincial map mode because I happen to know that Vistula has a lot of training camps. And then second place is Venadia. No, it's Costa Boccia. Which is down here. Uh, Costa Boccia is not going to have very many training camps though. Marcinia, Marcinia does, I think. Yeah, it does. So Marcinia can be the next one that I upgrade. Now we're out of oratory again. Okie dokie. So this war, we are actually winning. And you would actually peace out. Oh. Um... And you would give me a bunch of land to do it. No, I, th this is not over. Now that I've pieced Thrace out, I can focus the entire m military might of my nation at you. Although, them's a lot of bad guys coming in. Let's back off a bit. There's no way I'm taking that fort in time. We have no morale here, so we need to back off. Otherwise, we're just losing troops for no reason. Oratory has gone up. Let's take a look what that has enabled. Yearly installments, tribute income, improve opinion, and aggressive expansion impact. Don't care about any of those. Sending you units in one at a time usually I dogpile the enemy. Yeah, I know. But I'm I'm still expected I still expected to have done more damage than two thousand manpower. Which means that their actual standing army is tiny. The majority are mercenaries. Flocking to the banner, the honourable people of Cassabosia have turned out in droves to see the renowned General Octomund Marcolis lead his troops on the way to greater glories. A delegation from Toletum have requested the honour of sending a number of their young men to join the army of Octomund, citing their virtual fanaticism as a great boon during warfare. So he gains five loyal cohorts of a random type, or I say no. Um, which army? Oh, you're in Hack on Longbeard, sure. Does that literally just give you random soldiers? It does. Most of them are like cavalry, which I'm okay with. Cool. Oh, the other thing is I need to turn off Force March on most of you. Otherwise, you just take more attrition than you need to do. Bosnick, I think, is fine with the Forced March, because you just need to get out of this danger zone. My zero manpower army. It's literally just the commander marching along with, like, 14 banners, which is soldiers are supposed to have had. And they've survived again. It's not normally this much ping pong. So the Celtic, Germanic, and Norse system of awarding warriors with gold. Uh, don't know what that was in relation to. Hey, Lazy Bear. And... Ow! Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I didn't know if that was hours in Ouch, that hurt, or hours in I'm a wolf howling at the moon. Back off again. Oh, good grief! Really? How are you not dead yet? 
Because this is a defensive battle every single time. Because I'm horseman. I outrun you. Still not. Wow. This feels like that time when I lost an entire army chasing down rebels. And every time I fought them, they would kill slightly more of mine than I killed of them. Which eventually killed the entire army. They abandoned that siege. Interesting. Let's see if I can get a sneaky upgrade in. And also you need to get a sneaky upgrade. You have nine population. You need one more. One slave. Move to Agrusia. Agrusia, level two fort. Thank you. Hours in, out of that hurt. Okay. <laughs> And you're moving over to Petrodavia, so no. You need to go and hide over here, I'm afraid, buddy. You don't need to force march anymore, though. And you are suffering attrition standing here. Standing here, you wouldn't, and that would be into forest across a river. Good luck with that. Another victory. They ran away again. Stop it. Oh, this is the first time I'm exporting horses? Really? Alright, let's get some more um, light horse discipline then. It's called the raid system. I read about it in an Osprey book. The chieftain holds a feast where he rewards the riches and plans a raid. Warriors then pledge to go on it, and they go on said raid where they get the loot, then come home to feast, and the cycle continues. Oh yeah, I knew what that system was. I just didn't realize or understand what you were... Because you framed it as a question. So the Celtic, Germanic, Norse system of rewarding warriors to your gold. That's what I didn't get. Horses versus Barbarian ping pong match does seem to be grinding down the horses into lasagna pretty quickly. And we've also got some more Barbarians on the way in. Right, where's my other horses? You're over here because I've forgotten to have you building more roads. Well, before I forget, build more roads! <laughs> wow! Come on! see if changing the uh, strategy affects this at all. Oh, now they're beating me. That was a silly decision. I am doing more damage to them than they are to us. Actually, hit and run. Okay, so you're trying to attack this. I am going to have more than enough troops in position. You're moving south with these two. Um, okay. Let's start moving some soldiers ready to counter that. Let's bring you back a bit. Bud. No, you're already on the very edge of your territory, apparently. Wow! Come on! Those are mercenaries. And that's a relatively healthy legion. So is that. And all of these too. May as well wait here for the moment. Let's pull the legion... back somewhere. I'm trying to see where I can rest you. Supply limit of this area is kind of rubbish. And it is going to be mostly mercenaries that I want to throw into this. Religious advances. So what tech do we get? Household gods, omen duration, national pop growth. Ooh, hello. And ruler popularity. Uh, finally, you killed the barbarians. Congratulations. Alright, 
Right, send the army of... Oh, we can't actually get over there. Can you? Ah, you can. Alright, Garoldus with your archers in the forest. You should be effective against that. No, you have no general. Oh, that's the other thing I need to double check, actually, is to see who's leading my legions right now. Hack on to level 9. Schmo. Level 7. Tanks. Level 8. Cosmic. Level 8. Yeah, their commanders are okay. In fact, I could be looking at that. I forgot about that. So, Geraldus, let's bring in a level 7. Heavy infantry discipline. Ooh, hello. I'll go with that one. So, tank stuff, maybe? Posnick? Schmo's a seven. Schmo's the one that we can replace. He's a lunatic, and that's the most recent thing he's got. Huzzah! Yeah. Oh, it's Gundred. He's been around forever. Literally, he's 75. So unfortunately all of these soldiers are going to be loyal to somebody else, but never mind. Rook Whitefang, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime resub. Two months now, nice one, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Rednecks. 